as promised, we will start this one off with a cutscene. So thanks for stopping by, Jesse. Care for a cup of tea? Uh, sure, I love tea. And here you go, help yourself to as much as you wish. As you may have noticed, I often tripped over my words. I'm not one for all that social posturing and trying to be something I ain't. Uh, my lack of interest in impressing folks didn't do me any favors when I was trying to find work. Have you ever had trouble like that, Jesse? Folks not accepting you for who you are. <laughs> oh, your attitude is sexy. Oh my god, that's wow. Oh, probably once or twice. You know what? I thought you might have a wild streak in you that could cause you a bit more trouble now and then. Uh, we're a bit alike, us two. Straight out of school, I couldn't find many places I would take a spitfire like myself. Eventually, I lucked out and found a lab running or a lab run by a lass who shared my temperament. Ouch. Ouch. Huh. Uh, the fights we had were quite epic. Uh, we'd yell and call each other names. The techs would flee from the lab with a small sign of debate, which was all in the name of science. We respected each other something fierce. I was hesitant to take this assignment. I could have worked in that lab all of my life. But history isn't made by folks who don't take risk. Now look at me. The first research in clone alien critters. Uh, besides, I've never have met you if I didn't come to Virtus Primus. That alone makes it worth the trip. Aw, she's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Nessa. How you doing? Okay. We're gonna leave now. What? How, where's the exit to your home? Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. So what did you need again? Sweet milk, giant egg, and some glow wool. Still not entirely sure. Oh! I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if it's a specific genome? Oh good, it's raining. Or if it's like... Your friendship with the animals. Not entirely sure on that front. Um, let's see. I was hoping to find a sheep or something up here, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to go do a few things here and there around town. And just kind of like getting things together and getting things prepped um, for the final few episodes. Because we're nearing the end. I kind of want to run over to Wyatt's house. Um, we might not be able to do today. But we should be, um... Oh, hello, I haven't talked to you. Uh, do you consider this a circle? What do you mean? Uh, where does it begin? Where does it end? We are all circle, you and me. Okay, then. The rain is quite refreshing, although I'd rather be watching it from somewhere dry. I love the rain. The rain is the best. Oh, uh, I need to run up to the mine and get some... Um, oh, I'm just gonna get that. But, like, the crystal blob that I got, I named it, uh, Opal. And it eats rubies. <laughs> So it's a good thing I have this mining thing, because, like, otherwise I would not be able to feed that animal. So let's actually see. I was going to do something else. God, I am all over the place today. I don't know why that is. Probably because, like, mainly because I'm on spring break now, and I'm so excited. Oh, cool. I showed Wyatt some of my favorite plants. He said I had discovered several new species. I don't think so. They have been here for a very long time. Oh, Sasha. Oh, you sweet, innocent flower child. Let's uh, get this cutscene going. Oh my god, that music. <laughs> Welcome to my house, Jesse. I've been here before, but that's okay. I have fixed my greeting. Please come to me. <laughs> what does friendship really mean? Um, friends are people you like. Friends are always there to help. Uh, friends are always there to help. You've helped me very much, but I need help. Or I need to help you so we can be friends. I will try to think of ways to help you. Uh, you sit over there. Or over here. We will figure it out together. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, you are a good storyteller, Jesse. I think friendship means trust. I will see you tomorrow, Jesse. Okay, um, bye now. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave that. Um, and never, never go in there again. Uh, <laughs> I like her, but she's a little bit out there. Oh yeah, so I was gonna check Wyatt's journal real quick and see if we can't do anything about that wedding date. Um, because now we should be able to do that. Where is that book? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see. Schedule a wedding tomorrow. Oh. Oh, hell no. We're doing a fancy ceremony. Um, that's going to be... Oh, boy, that's going to be quite pricey. That's fine. I will make sure to have all that money. So let's try and get a wedding this episode. What do you guys say? That sounds like a good, a good thing to happen. So I will be back, um, hopefully when I got some more stuff done. So we actually have a cutscene with Miles um, that I didn't know I triggered, but that's fine. Oh no, this is going to be his rejection. Oh god. Thanks for stopping by, Jesse. I'm glad you're here. Uh, would you like some coffee? Tea, perhaps. Uh, I'd love a cup of tea. I'll grab you some. Be careful, it'll be hot. 
Oh god, this always makes me super uncomfortable. Oh boy. Uh, so, I'm glad you're here. Uh, did I already say that? Ugh, okay. Uh, anyway, I am. Uh, you've been my favorite customer for so long. And I do have a few- you're not the only one anymore. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say thanks. I really value our time together. Oh, so do I, Miles. Uh, wonderful. I do have a question for you, though. Like I said, you're my favorite customer, but you're also my best friend on the colony. Oh god. My best friend on any planet, really. I know you're already exclusive with someone, so I won't embarrass myself further. But I want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Oh. So, thank you, Jesse. Oh god, yeah, I'm already engaged. Um, yeah, sorry. Oh boy. That's, that's something. We also got one with, um, Kenji as well. Oh, let me look at the floor stuff real quick. I kind of want to decorate the apartment a little bit more. Um, mm, nothing really piqued my interest today. Okay, let's go talk to Kenji and stuff. Um, oh, hi sheep. How you doing? Okay, um, I also want to do, a, maybe, maybe do a painting. Or not. Maybe I don't want to do a painting. That's fine, game. Whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm so glad you came by to try my new dessert. I was so excited that I made quadruple the recipe. Behold, heart fruit cobbler. It is as delicious as it is beautifully plated. Oh, oh my god, that looks good. And keep the recipe for yourself. I must apologize for my abrupt departure when we were out for our walk. I felt a sudden pang of homesickness and needed to hear my mother's voice. Are you close to your mother, Jesse? Actually, yes, we're very close. Uh, that is good. It seems that no matter what is troubling me, my mother can always soothe me. Just the sound of her voice is calming. There is no problem that she cannot solve. She is a remarkable woman. Aw, well that's sweet. Uh, I suppose I am being a bit misleading. My mother is not m of my flesh and blood. She found me in the streets when I was still but a child. Oh, dang. Uh, using peaches, she gained my trust. Aww. That's sweet. She looks for my parents. If I had any siblings, uh, distance relation or distant relationships. Oh boy. Um, when she couldn't find no one, she adopted me. I owe her everything. Excuse me again, Jesse. I seem to be suffering from homesickness yet again. Oh, that's okay. That was really sweet. Aww. Oh gosh. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna be back whenever I have uh, stuff ready to go. Okay, so we can go ahead and complete this last uh, collection piece for Kenji. And uh, hopefully we get something good. I'm kind of running out of space in my inventory, though. Or, like, my storage system. So six beautiful paintings, but wait, this isn't a painting. This is something much more. A picture worth 10,000 words. Created by nature itself and brought to life by you. Uh, what others see as an old log, I see as true beauty. Okay. Uh, you've truly come into your own as an artist. Oh, he gave us a fruit bowl full of peaches. That's sweet. That's really sweet. We also should have a cutscene with um, Anthony, come to think of it. So, or not Anthony, um, Ramon. I think his house is down here, maybe? No, wait. Rosie's the in. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, this is Ramon's house. I was thinking, oh my god, I'm so confused. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, K. Pudo Osser? Oh gosh. Uh, oh, Jesse, I didn't hear you come in. Oh my god, he's crying. Oh. You were not meant to see me like this. I'm just not dealing with my father's death very well. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't need your petty. Oh, dang. Uh, Pudo no me, Jesse. I'm just lost. Oh. Today, uh. Oh my god. Uh, I tried to protect my family. Uh, and all my life I've failed, unable to support, uh, my mom. <laughs> too overprotective of my sister, too clumsy to help my brother, my uncle. Not man enough for my father. I'm just so tired of all the weight of the world on my shoulders. Uh, yeah, my friends are always like, have you considered therapy? I, you know what, I'm here for you. Uh, gracias, Jesse. It helps just being able to express myself. I never thought you'd be one of the only people I could talk to here. Uh, please, excuse me. I have some things I need to figure out. Oh god, this is depressing. You're a good friend. Sorry you had to see me like this. You're fine. You're you're a okay. Okay, we should have. Well, it's the eclipse, so we can't really grow anything. So I'm kind of just like at a loss for what to do. Um, as far as money goes. Oh hi Miles. I'll go ahead and talk to you. Uh, get those points up, Rosie. We have you maxed. Um, 
But yeah, so my animals are kind of the only way I can make money, so I might be going to bed like super early these next few days in game. Because really, why why not? I don't really have anything else uh, to do. So I'll be back. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I paid for the um, giant, big, fancy wedding, so today is a big day! Oh my god, let me actually turn up the um, audio just a little bit, just so we can hear everything that might happen. I'm so excited! Oh my god! Um, uh... What? Are we supposed to go somewhere and do stuff? Um, I'm a little confused. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and feed my animals real quick for the day. Oh, there we go. Um, I know Wyatt was telling us to come to his house earlier. Is that like... For wedding stuff? Yeah! <gasps> Here we go! Okay. Uh, you look amazing, my little wildflower. I'm indeed the luckiest man. I wish we could actually change clothes. That would have been nice. I'm the luckiest man on Virtus Primus. Actually, the luckiest man on any planet, for that matter. Oh my god! Uh, come, let us not keep our friends waiting. Aww. As administrator of this colony, it is my pleasure to officiate the commitment ceremony for Jesse and Wyatt. Uh, friends and colonists, we gather today to witness these two pledge their loyalty to one another. Wyatt, do you promise to love no, uh, no one other than Jesse? Jesse, we have been through so much together. You share my sense of humor, or at the very least tolerate my puns. I appreciate your patience with my distant nature. Very few people in my life have had the persistence required to truly get to know me. Uh, you have expressed concern regarding my interactions with uh, certain individuals. Yep. Yet we have overcome those worries to find ourselves standing here today. Aww. You have kindly boosted my ego with flirtatious compliments at the most surprising of times. You were un- oh my god he's tearing up! And arguably the most amazing thing that has ever come into my life. I'm dead. Um, I shall do my best to reciprocate and be deserving of the love that you have shown me. With all my heart, I swear to love no other. And you, Jesse, do you pledge your fidelity to Wyatt? Do I get, like, a cute... I so pledge. Well, I'm gonna pretend I said, like, a bunch of cute vows, because, like, that's so, like, ditto, <laughs> you know? Uh. With those gathered here today, I hereby witness the commitment pledges given by Jesse and Wyatt. Oh, Val, I've got you. Oh, Jesse, I'm so happy to be with you. Oh, look, we even get a colorful ribbon. A uh, congratulations, Jesse and White. May your life together be full of happiness. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. This is the best day of my life. Me too. I'm quite impressed by your industry, Jesse. You've done a superb job with the decorations. You have my most sincere congratulations. Best wishes to you and Wyatt in your life together. Aw. What a beautiful ceremony. So many flowers. Uh, Felisa... Uh, yep. I'm happy for you and Wyatt. Aw. Damn, Jesse, you really went all out with decorations. It's really nice, though. How oh, cool we get a cutscene with him soon. I'm happy for you, fam. You and Wyatt look good together. Thank you. What a beautiful ceremony. You put so much effort into the ceremony, Jesse. Oh, okay. Uh, keep this effort up in your relationship, too. Your relationship is a blessing to all of us here. Congratulations. Uh, K. Marveloso. I think. Uh, I'm amazed by this ceremony. Uh, many years of health and happiness to you and Wyatt. Thank you. Ooh, you have done something amazing here. You must really like Wyatt. We, we're married, Sasha. We're... Yep. Yeah, I really like him. I'm sending you my happiness. Yay for you. Yay for Wyatt. I love her. Tis the right fancy party you're throwing today, isn't it? Uh, congratulations, Jesse. Give my best to Wyatt as well. May you both know nothing but happiness from this day forward. I wish we could actually, like, see some of the nice decorations instead of just, like... But I guess we get the front points. This is amazing. What a beautiful ceremony. The flower arrangements are stunning. You did it, Jesse. I was rooting for you and Wyatt. You confessed to me, like, a month... Like, a few days ago. <laughs> okay. Um, absolutely stunning setup you have here. You really did it, cutie. Finally, there's an event where I'm not the star of the show. What a happy day. Congrats to you and Wyatt. I can't imagine the cost of this wedding. This must be true love. Why else would you spend so much? A hearty congratulations is in order for you and Wyatt, so congratulations. And one more. This decor is inspiring, Jesse. What a beautiful environment for an equally beautiful ceremony. Congratulations. You and Wyatt shall be happy for the rest of your days. I know it. Oh, yay! I guess... Cool beans, guys! <laughs> 
Don't really know what to do from here. We're all just gonna stand in a circle. Okay. Uh, what if I leave and can like come back out? Are they still there? They're still there. Oh god. Um, this is the most awkward after wedding thing ever. Uh, can I go in his house? Does that trigger something? No. All right. Oh, did it again. Okay. I wonder actually how soon we can have a baby. I know. Okay, hear me out, cause like, it should be fairly soon. I'm guessing. I don't know, we're to be married for a while and then they'll be like, do you want to have a baby? And I'll be like, yeah, of course. I want to see a cute little, like, white Jesse child running around. Yes? Oh, okay, good. Now people are walking around. Oh boy, it's not as awkward. But anyway, guys, I know that this episode has been kind of short, or pretty short, actually. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. So I just want to say thank you all so much for, for watching. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And if you guys have any game suggestions, please leave them down below. Because, you know, we're kind of coming up on a time to where we can start a new game. Because this one's kind of wrapping up. So I'll talk to you guys later. So until the next one, bye!